Hi Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here and today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what energies will you walk away from in the month of June and what blessings are you going to walk towards here in the month of June. Now if you are interested in the extended exclusive bonus content messages for this reading where I'll be using all these decks right here then take a look down below in the description box and click on my Patreon link. That's going to take you over to my Patreon and there in tier number Number two, Oracle of Revelation, you will have access to the exclusive bonus messages. For those of you who are interested in learning more about me, my story, my credentials, or if you're interested in my client testimonials because you would like to have a reading with me, a private one-to-one -one reading, then take a look down below in the description box and click on my Paths of Healing website. All my information is there and I'll see you then. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. And if, again, if you want to know more about myself, my story, client testimonials, if you're interested in learning about my credentials, then all of that is on my Path of Healing website. Now, for those of you who are uh, subscribers, new viewers, and visitors alike, I want to thank you. Thank you for your love your support and your loyalty here on our channel and i hope that you continue to give those thumbs up like share and subscribe so that i can continue to bring you these channeled messages don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you know when i have new postings or whenever i go and do the live stream okay which i've been doing as of late um as of late okay all right let's take a look here scorpio what information do you need to know and what is it that you're going to be walking or potentially be walking away from here in the month of june and we have here for you the lantern fairy it says a clear solution and i feel here for you scorpio that you may have been feeling thinking or kind of like either having an emotional confusion, mental confusion, or some type of blockage here that may uh, potentially either come up here in the month of June or has been here um, in your past or recent past. What I'm getting here with clear solutions is that there's also some of you here that need to walk away from the sense of shielding your energy or creating either a jaded, um, maybe some of you are jaded for whatever reason, okay? Um, you know, stop believing in the goodness of love in the positivity of life or something along those lines is what i'm getting here what i'm also getting here is that some of you are really kind of stuck in your own mindset okay scorpio listen scorpio you are a fixed sign all right which means that when you come to um to kind of uh you really gonna get stuck in your emotions okay and you allow that to create some sense of boundary a boundary or or uh, shields here within your own energetic field, okay? It's like you will not move forward because you're so consumed in your own energetic, you know, way of thinking about something, very stubborn way or um, unable to be flexible here, your inflexibility here. And this is talking about you learning to walk away from that energy and allowing yourself and releasing yourself here, kind of that liberation type of energy here from that old song and dance okay from that old pattern of behavior so that you can arrive to a clear solution or mindset here in the month of june all right so that is the energy that you need to walk away from and let's get more a little bit more clarity here what's interesting here is this lantern fairy is giving me um the vibes here of the hermit in tarot and hermit in tarot is ruled by virgo so there could be here letting go or walking away from the analytical thinking or the thinking of something over and over again that's triggering your emotions or that could trigger your emotions here in the month of june okay now, wouldn't it be crazy if the hermit energy comes up here for you? Well, it's not, but it's definitely the full card here. This is a new step, a new beginning in order for you to move in a new direction and not be stuck in this energetic kind of boundary, uh, shielding, old pattern of behavior, consuming yourself so much emotionally into something that you are either having 
a difficulty kind of seeing or compromising or seeing the flexible side of it or listening to advice here. This is saying that the fool here is the card or the energy that is here to support you in this walking away. The moment you walk away, you leave behind this energetic frequency here, you're going to be able to freely move into a new direction. A direction here that is going to allow you to take a leap of faith here in some way, shape, or form. Now, let's take a look here at what other blessings are coming in your direction here in the month of June, Cancer. I'm sorry, not Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, some of you may be dealing with a Cancer. Okay, look at this, the one who emerges. Very similar here to, hello, validation, confirmation, a new beginning. A new beginning that emotionally, now granted, this is a lotus here, but it really looks like a heart. It's like walking away from the emotional side of whatever you've been kind of uh, harboring, uh, replaying in your mind, dealing with. That is the stuck energy here. The one that's been creating the obstacles, challenges, or blockages for you in love, career, or in other um, aspects here of your life. And what it says here with the one who emerges is enlightenment, mindfulness, and rising up. And that is the blessing that's coming in your direction here, Scorpio. Your ability, like I said from the beginning, and I channeled this earlier, I'm getting the hermit energy in tarot. Your ability to soul search, to to go into that introspective mindset so that you can analyze things, not overanalyze, okay? Everything in moderation. To analyze what is it that you're using here energetically, emotionally, or mentally as a blockage that's not allowing you to really step forward in a new direction. And there's the blessing of a new direction here in the month of June. But a lot of it has to deal with you saying goodbye to something that has been emotionally, mentally, or energetically keeping you in a state of feeling stuck, of feeling as if your walls are up, whether energetically, physical walls, okay, in some way, shape, or form, emotional walls, mental walls here that you need to really clarify or gain clarity in so that you can see things for what they are and maybe not what you want them to be. Be open to compromise, be open to flexibility here, okay? All right, so let's take a look here, um, Scorpio. What else is coming in for you? Or what is, your, what is it that you're gonna be walking towards in regards to blessings here in the month of June? And we have here for you, a sly, subtle approach is needed. Now, it's interesting. This is coming across as two different messages. I'm going to channel first the one that's coming in very strongly, and then I'll talk a little bit about this energy right here. So for some of you here, the serpent or the snake is showing you here that there is a kind of a new layer that you need to outgrow, okay? As the snake grows, it outgrows its old skin. So this is talking about the blessing in June coming in as some type of metamorphosis, some type of transition that you need to let go of the old in order to move into something new. Now, this could be in your love life, in your career, or in another, in another area or facet of your life, okay? So there's a sense of you outgrowing something. And it has a lot to do with your past because as I place this card here, she's looking at my left-hand side and that is talking about the past. So there could be here some past situations, circumstance, events, blockages here that you are emotionally and stubbornly connected to that you have not outgrown or let go of. And that's the reason why some of you have here the serpent or the snake. You need to outgrow that skin in order to emerge into your new transition or your next step. It's like you're leveling up here and that's the blessing that's coming in your direction. You're leveling up into a new direction, but you need to clear what's been pulling you back or what's holding you back. And for some of you here, the sly subtle approach is needed here is talking about you. You need to really be savvy here on how you're going to proceed with this growth or transformation that may be potentially coming towards you in the month of June as a blessing. Because what you may perceive as other people being the, the reason or the situation, the circumstance or event or person that's not allowing you to grow, it could also, um, it, it's not really, I don't feel it's coming from the outside. 
Okay, so for some of you, that may be the case. It may be an outward conflict, right? But I feel here for a lot of you, Scorpio, that this transition is internal. Okay, this is you. You kind of outgrowing that energy, that kind of what I feel here, this kind of old pattern of behavior, this limited belief, this uh, stuck energy being so confined, confounded by your emotional circle, not allowing yourself to exit from that past or from that memory or from that uh, situation, circumstance or event that may pop up here in the month of June for you. Okay. Another thing here, uh, and which is the third message that I'm getting here to channel for you, um, Scorpio, is this very, very quickly here. This could be outside forces as well, okay? There could be someone who's trying to, you know, be sly or slick about something here in the month of June, and that may trigger old feelings from the past. Now, this doesn't mean it's going to be the same situation, but it may trigger you emotionally, and that may, in a way, not allow you to see things from a new perspective. It's like you've gone through what you've gone through in your life where there's certain things that you may have experienced. And instead of going back to the same energy frequency of how you dealt with something in the past or how you manage the situation in the past, this is asking you here that the new blessing that's coming in your direction in the month of June is to outgrow this mindset and move move into this resolution or management or negotiation of situation through a new outlook, through a new way, not the way that you've always handled it, but a new way to flourish and to expand and to grow. Scorpio, I have a whole lot more to share with you along with these decks that are right here. But first, I need you to join me down below in the description box and click on that Patreon link, and I'll see you there. For others of you, click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. There are more messages down here and more up here, and I'll see you on Patreon.